Roll tonight. We're underway. The start of Easter football, a big marathon ahead. And will it be West Coast or Sydney who go forward first? It's Kennedy who got the decisive handball. A bit of a wind. Yep. Lloyd again in the right spot to receive from... And in the forward 50 for the Swans in this first five or so minutes. And it will remain there. Hewitt bouncing off that left boot. Playing on Josh Kennedy. Um, was able to come up and influence the contest. Equally enjoyed the attack on the ball from Andrew Gaff. A big guy coming the other way. Yeah, true. Takes a bit of courage to put your head over it. Kennedy kicked just two goals on Grundy when they last met in 26. Grundy down the line. Oh, Reed had it a fair piece, but not enough to be paid. Prittis. That might be a throw. Yep. Well, you look Butler tackled again. Nelson. Prittis slowed but not stopped and got the handball away. Marty and Sinclair will call that one a draw. Redden tries to get a tackle on but can't. Turn of the body by Parker who's desperately looking for a red jumper. But he's got straight back into the thick of it. Marsh. Their third quarter last week against Richmond where they were beaten around this area and Richmond were able to get out quite easily. They... Reed goes into the ruck. Which isn't a bad thing here at the main stadium. I think it can definitely work if, um, if Sydney go in with a reasonable job at stopping that second play. They've actually been right in this game up until just over the halfway mark of this first quarter. But at some point, Hutter, they need to get a score on the board and get a bit of momentum going. You, you, you must trust your teammates out there to get the job done. Parker trying to work his way through. Prittis now ridden. Jones. Haywood in front. Shepard, Sinclair back out there. Hannibal, trying to lock on for the tackle. Florent. On the wing, it's exactly what Sydney would be after. So the West Coast with the only two goals in 20 minutes of footy. It's been pretty tough and torrid at times, and it continues to be that way. Luckman try and do it in stoppage situations as well. Yeah, when they're on one leg and you can move their body the other way under the arm or something like that, it makes it almost impossible to defend. hard, no free kick, Shepard and Cunningham clashed. It's the ground now and under all sorts of duress. The Swans able to prevail at footy eventually. Now it's Shepard, just half slipped the tackle. Vardy feeling the heat. So to Newman and his handball, he ends up with Parker. Franklin's got a bit of a... Yeah, it's the best taggers, Cameron Ling, Ryan Crowley of more recent times who not only stop, but get the ball as well. McGovern and Aaliyah both up, both down. Ball hits the turf. Duggan, it was like... The play on for me. Like it. Barty. Mad scramble. Kennedy to Sinclair. Eagle up his sleeve. That was terrific for him. Just eyes on the ball the whole time, George Hewitt. The Prittis was... <laughs> Prittis or Pip, so they weren't sure what to do. Schofield the touch. Kennedy rode the tackle. Buddy and Hanabry and Lloyd. They're a good kick. combination. Oh, Kieran Jack was gone before he got the footy. Just sneaks inside Barris. He is... I grew up in Adelaide playing for West Torrens, so definitely a, a nice history of football in his veins. Another free kick. Ended up again late in this first quarter at Domain Stadium. Swans looking to surge. Parker and Hanabry and Franklin. Again, the big names in amongst it. He doesn't kick Buddy, instead handballing, and it's Kennedy. Oh, yeah. Pinpoint. Oh, Pinpoint. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Are you well, confused, you know, Otto? No, you've given him an out on Monday to Adam Simpson. Why well, do you work all that out? He'll watch the footy back on the wing. Gaff to Prudis. Kennedy's got him behind here. He's a big chance. Couple of swans pushing hard. Mars decision here. Sydney, whether they just try and throw him deep a little bit and restrict the runoff from him, um, or he comes off the ground altogether. You can't kick like that to him, can you? No. That's certainly not going to help. Mitchell. Oh, red. Not quite. Might say. And you can't pull up either. You get moving and then it's, hard to, it's hard to stop as well. That's when you start really limping heavily. Great insights from champions of our game who can feel Buddy's pain as Shuey backs out of the pack and then Prudis. Waited till there was something on offer. Can they move forward through Butler? McGovern v Smith and forwards. They're playing with six forwards, so they're not throwing anyone up to the stoppage at the minute. They're playing purely man on man with Sydney. And that was the crowd's first disposal of the night, so they mustn't particularly look forward to these contests. <laughs> as the Swans are on the charge, Parker. This time it's not Buddy as the target. 
the kick. distance kick was a good one, wasn't it? He was able to detect the movement from Curtis. Found him as Gaff continues to accumulate. Up to 11 disposals now for the wingman. Another good kick, Chief. From Lacroix cutting through Shuey. And next to go, Redden. Cripps is going back to goal, waiting for the ball never arrives because a couple of errant handballs in the Swans have got an opportunity through Mills. We can get a spell. It's often a good one when the ball does go out. Feels like it's going to be an exhausting contest. Newman to the wing. <laughs> Running that uh, quad out a little bit, that corky he received from Hearn earlier. Jones, Lloyd, you can see the movement through the middle. The grab is the key. And if you can win a couple of free kicks or take a couple of grabs about 30, 40 metres out from goal, they're huge for him and the Swans, of course. No doubt you're a forward, Pav. He was there. <laughs> Pav's been all Australian everywhere. Yeah, so he, he, can, yeah, he, he can comment all over the ground. He ventured past fullback <laughs> one day and ended up being the all Australian fullback. <laughs> Took a couple of kickings that year. Reed. Sinclair inside 50 again. Pressure grows on this West Coast defence. Butler with the handball. Now it's Prudis. Well, there's an eagle down. I think it might be Sam Mitchell, I think. Sam, Sam Mitchell, Mitchell there. there. There he is. Look, on the bottom left of his ground. Two ex Hawthorne teammates, superstars. It's a nice finish by Jeremy Gavin, who is playing up forward tonight. We see the ball kicked into the middle, a nice hand pass. and. That's really good use of the footy line in the ice. Three Sydney players oh. at the moment, Sam Mitchell. Big hobble, but at least he's up and walking. Oh, it's possible, Moons, that it's just a big knock on his shin. On his, I mean, it looked a lot worse than that. It could have been broken leg, ankle, but it could legitimately just be a big corky on his shin, essentially. Free to Prudis. Straight to McGovern again versus Aaliyah. You don't want that if you're Will Schofield to you in the back of the head. Straight to the nose or the face. They're doing it to each other. There's good strength from Jones, but... He's aware of Kieran Jack so far compared to 70 or 80 percent in previous years. Numbers are well down. Kicked a couple of goals last week. That's hard. Haven't lost his footing. Tries to get back in the contest. Hanbury looked up and Cripps was right in his face. About to latch on for a big tackle. And get the ball to the boundary and over and out. There was the opposition generally can get it going uh, very quickly. The Eagles by four. Shuey clean away from the stoppage. And Prittis to Duggan. He just kicks it as high as he can, hoping that Kennedy can run. Sinclair, Smith. Oh, gave it back to Kennedy. Josh Kennedy. Got it. Oh, oh Margin out to ten. But out to a two-goal lead at the start of the game. Oh, Parker imposes himself. Seven to four, three. Very good, Hunter. Back in the middle. Sinclair over the top, and commanding tap it was, but look at the follow-up from Giles. Tends to purpose, the Sydney would have mopped that ball up, bounces perfectly into Josh Kennedy's hand and gives them an opportunity to score. Reed tried to reach over, Florent perfectly placed, and he's kicked. So Nick Smith goes to the front, think he's going to pop up at the footy, and a good circle around from Lacroix, and that's how he's able to generate the couple of metres that he needs. To Leave it. What was Nick Smith doing? It was his man, he just left him go alone. Good question, man. Yeah, good question, Moose. <laughs> it was. 